Good day. My name is Oluwatun Yakirele. The title of my talk is Do Ionic Characters Have an Impact on the Quality of Molecular Organic Pistas? Molecular organic pistas are pistas that contain organic molecules. The molecules are connected through no covalent interactions. Organic crystals have unique properties that are very useful in the development of different materials. In, it has been shown from the literature that inorganic compounds with charged ions form larger crystals and produce better crystallography data than organic compounds with neutral molecules. Another study shows that the strong hydrogen bond acceptor of triphenylphosphine oxide induces the formation of good quality crystals. And so we expect that organic crystals like salt with charged molecules and strong hydrogen bond acceptor will form good quality crystals than neutral organic molecules. We investigated a series of co-crystal and salts in order to assess the link between the ionic character of the component and the quality of crystal obtained experimentally. We synthesized substituted benzoic acid and pyridine in ratio one to one using solvent evaporation method. The crystals obtained were analyzed with single crystal ray diffraction. Co-crystal and salt were obtained for the binary complexes, and a combination of charged and neutral molecules was found in the ternary complexes. The following density functional theory program were used to calculate the interaction energy, the lattice energy, and the molecular electrostatic surface potential of salt and co-crystal. This slide shows the result of the interaction energy of co-crystal and salt. In gas phase and solvent phase, the interaction energy of salt is much lower than that of co-crystals. And this implies that salt are more stable than co-crystals. The lattice energy of the, the average lattice energy of the salt is much lower than that of co-crystals. This suggests that salt is more stable than co-crystals. The ternary complexes, which contain both charged and neutral molecules, have as an intermediate average lattice energy. Now, does this mean salt will always have better crystals than poor crystals? In order to answer this question, we use mosaicity and R int obtained from crystallography data. Mosaicity is an indication of crystal quality. The lower the mosaicity, the fewer the defects, and the better the quality of crystals. The opposite is true for high mosaicity. R-int is a measure of good quality crystallography data. The lower the R-int, the better the data. This is the result of the interaction energy in relation to the mosaicity and R-int. We use a treasure of less than 0.7 mosaicity for good quality crystals and greater than 0.7 for low quality crystals. R-int of less than 4% is one an excellent crystallography data. Why are into between four to six percent is for good quality data. In these two graphs, both, both co crystal and salt were found in the region, in the lower region of mosaicity and hard int, as well as the high region of mosaicity and hard int. This means the strength of interaction between the components of salt and of salts does not determine the formation of good quality crystals. The lattice energy, which is often used to predict the stability of the crystal structure, does not correlate with the quality of crystals. As we see, both co-crystal and salt in the lower region of mosaicity and r as well as high region of mosaicity and r -int. In conclusion, the study has shown that the strength of interaction does not determine the quality of organic crystal obtained. The ionic character of organic crystal does not translate to the formation of good quality crystals and better crystallography data. This might be true for inorganic crystals with charged ions, but certainly not in molecular organic crystals. The formation of good quality organic crystal is most likely to be driven by a combination of different factors. This finding could serve as an informative for solid state chemists, crystal engineers, and scientists that grow crystals that believe organic compounds with ionic species will always give better crystals. I would like to appreciate the following people and the bodies. Thank you.